Hello, thanks for joining me today for a quick run through of the top five reasons you should consider organic acid testing for your patients with the updated OAP test from Diagnostic Solutions Lab. With a simple first morning urine test, we give you 72 analytes or metabolites, providing insight on an individual's metabolic pathways. When there are obstructions in the pathways, usually related to blocks and enzymes or missing vitamins and cofactors, organic acid intermediates will spill over into urine, resulting in elevated levels on the test. The test report is about 10 pages long and it is nicely organized into different sections of metabolic impacts. We give interpretive summary information at the beginning and the end of the report for quick and easy interpretation and to assist your protocol development. Test sections include energy and mitochondrial processing, which includes gly glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and fatty acid oxidation pathways, nutritional assessments for several high impact metabolic nutrients, stress and mood, which looks at neurotransmitter and catecholamine balance in addition to stress hormones, toxic impacts, and microbial metabolites. So in talking about patient profiling, the top five reasons why I recommend running this test are for patients presenting with fatigue, sluggish metabolism or weight loss resistance, stress and anxiety, toxic burden, and gut symptoms. I don't know about you, but these symptoms comprise about 99% of patients seeking guidance in functional medicine. Really, this test is for everyone. For fatigue, we are looking at metabolites of glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and fatty acid oxidation. If these pathways are not optimized, a patient will undoubtedly be experiencing issues with energy metabolism. Nutrition is critical to optimize metabolic function. The OAP offers assessment over several key nutrients, including carnitine, B-complex vitamins, methylation status, namely vitamin B12 and folate, biotin, fructose intake, and plant-based phytonutrients. Stress can lead to alterations in catecholamine and serotonin turnover. Tracking these metabolites can give insight into the physiological impacts of stress and neurotransmitter dynamics. The test measures HVA and VMA and their ratio to map the dopamine and norepinephrine epinephrine pathways respectively. To look at serotonin turnover, the test includes markers of tryptophan catabolism. To further assess stress impacts, the test also includes cortisol and the cortisol-cortisone ratio and certain markers of neuroinflammation. Furthermore, the OAP can tell you if your patients are detoxing appropriately. Glutathione is the body's master antioxidant. By measuring three different metabolites, we can determine if someone is depleted in glutathione or burning through it rapidly. The test also gives insight into glycine conjugation by demonstrating the conversion of benzoic acid to hippuric acid. And finally, so many of our patients have gut symptoms. In that case, you will likely want to run a GI map but the OAP can provide complementary insight into gut dysbiosis and offers an entire section of gut microbial metabolites, which illustrate bacterial or fungal overgrowth. The back page of the test provides personalized recommendations based on each individual test result, so you can take quick action steps and develop your customized protocols with ease. With so much clinical utility and actionability, almost every patient can benefit from the OAP. This test can be particularly useful for the symptoms we've discussed today. Get started and visit our website for educational support and to access the interpretive guide for this amazing clinical tool.